So Ian, good morning. Thank you for being available for an interview for Jetzt TV. Excellent. Yeah, I'm very happy to connect with you. I was made aware of somebody who sent me an email. You might consider to have Ian on your portal. Ah. And then there was, I believe, two months. There was a short contact between the two of us. Then there was two months of a break. And suddenly, a couple of days ago, an email arrived again from you directly. Yeah, message, yeah, yeah. yeah. So now here we are. Yeah. Oh, it was even via Skype, I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, it was Skype. Yeah. So, fundamentally, first questions. First question is, what do you have to say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking. What appears to be important in what I'm saying currently is including all aspects of the human condition that are still active in my experience and for me it's really something that has rarely been said when you look at the tradition of spiritual paths or whatever we call them everyone looks like they've devalued the sensory experience of being a human being and the sensory experiences of people's emotions and I would like to rehabilitate emotion as a worthwhile, valuable experience of being spiritual. And I understand when the many different approaches describe the experience or non-experience or whatever we care to call it I understand what they're saying but my experience is it's a much poorer life not to include emotions and everything that makes up the human being. Um, we've heard consciousness is everything and consciousness is the small things in life. Consciousness is the parts of me that are dysfunctional and they haven't gone away. However awake I am, and we may want to go into that at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so sure yet. <laughs> the choice is mine. The choice is yours on what your life is. It's possible to, you know, it's possible to choose a way of looking back up the stream or the current of consciousness and describing what's there. But there's not a great deal to describe. And after five or ten minutes or a couple of weeks, you know, you're just repeating yourself. And my focus is on and with the people that I connect with and voyage with. How do you choose 
what you include and what you value in your in your experience that we call life. You say void with people. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I part of my artwork is is language. And a journey the idea of journey is that it's on solid ground whereas a voyage you can't guarantee that it's solid ground a voyage is much more unstable okay I misunderstood a voyage which means something like traveling yeah yeah, yeah. and It is something that happens when I sit with people. There's an energetic that is an important component in what's happening. There's an energetic that's taking place this moment. And I don't know how you experience it, but I experience something of a connection with you. And I like it. You know, it's, it's important to me. Here it's experienced like, like some yeah, relaxation, comfortable staying. Excellent. 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 No matter where it moves, it's just open, open relaxation of I don't know what. <laughs> it's always difficult to describe. Yeah, no, exactly, but lovely, yeah, yeah. And for me, the, it's the sensory experience that is is a valuable and useful guide. It's what I use you know, when when I watch interviews like this, for example. You know, when I see other people, it's not so much what they're saying, it's what does it feel like that is valuable to me? Can I drop into that relaxed space when I participate in this communication, even if it's a recorded one? Somehow, this energetic that we're recognizing is communicated, and how, how you know, in a way, how lucky that is, because I, I kind of love technology. <laughs> because it allows us to do this. You know, I'm still sitting here at my comfortable little session room and and yet something very special is communicated on sky. It's like <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how, how absurd in, in one way but it you know it's tangibly real for me it's amazing yeah yeah and you know this this is this is my love there's mm. nothing more that I would rather do than just connect with you this moment. I have no idea what, what you know where we're going to go, or what we're going to say, but just the the tangibility of this is like, oh yes. Hmm.
actually there is there is no way to go from <laughs> here. <laughs> I agree. I agree. But I'm sure I'm sure we're going to do stuff in 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 the future. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I've no idea what it will be. <laughs> uh, why do anything? I mean, uh, <laughs> that is, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I have to admit, I do feel a certain tinge of responsibility that, you know, you're interviewing me and, and, you know, I'd love just to sit here and, you know, be like this for the whole of the interview, but I don't know how that would work for you or what you're looking to do. Uh, uh, in the end of the day, these interviews, what, what, what is the background of these interviews? Why am I doing them? Uh, I, fundamentally, there is not much idea behind it. Uh, it is, there is just a movement of inviting whoever might see it to allow for the opportunity that it is that that simple just to relax with this uh, with without any words uh, even uh, beautiful just relax in this in this and yeah, man might call it perception, or I don't, I don't know even, that, that's too much. Yeah, it is always with yeah. everybody, yeah. it's just this, huh. that, that's, if there is any purpose, then it, it may be this. Yeah. And uh, often words are used, but it is all at the same time sense that that the words somehow reveal what what is tried to be said uh, or pointed to. Uh. Yeah, beautiful. That tastes so good. And it's, it's true, it's true. But it's also true in my experience that words, and in my case actual drawings and illustrations appear. And that appears to be part of the communication that I make with people. I don't think them out or work them out or think them up but I have found myself recently I mean it, 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 it came from the idea that I should put my book Emotional Hostage onto Kindle I think it's called mm -hmm. Kindle and I enjoy to do practical stuff and I years ago trained in graphic design so I thought well I, I'll have a go at this you know and I started looking at how to do it and I realized the illustrations in the book were not of sufficient quality for, for Kindle and then I found myself redoing the illustrations but what came out was a whole series of about you know almost 20 illustrations 
in lovely colour illustrating how I saw consciousness and the human condition and they're just sim fairly simple diagrams and it was just amazing to see them appear <laughs> and they were so they were so energetic that they really energetically portrayed how I saw how life force or consciousness merges and perceives the human condition. But now I've got to put words. <laughs> I don't know if I can just send this whole series of drawings to people and have them be self-explanatory. I don't know. <laughs> Are they somewhere up on the internet? Not yet, not yet. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, one or two, one, the original ones from the book are on the internet, on my website, but not the new series. So I'm, and I, I, did, I have sent one or two to a couple of people that I'm working with And surprisingly, you know, I got remarkable feedback. Just the experience that one of my friends had looking at a yellow ball. So you work with people? Yes, yes. Yes, it's... I need it. How would a typical work session look like? <laughs> Great question. Normally, normally that question is, what do you do? I mean, people generally ask me that question, what do you do? And I must admit, I play with the answer, and a good answer is, it depends who I'm doing it to. Because it looks like this, because in, in, in recent years, most of my connections are on Skype. Mm -hmm. So it looks like this, there's you sitting there, there's me sitting here, and we voyage. You know, What happens in you is perceived and examined. And I guess over time I have come up with a kind of language to describe my own experience and my own process of realization. And I, I have to admit, you know, if every word I say <laughs> is like, I can imagine all, you know, the connotations from, from what I'm saying. But I'm just going to carry on saying what I say. Because there, there appeared to be a kind of process that was self-realization in that I was relentlessly forced to re-examine everything that was stored in my body-mind system. And I sense that the core of what I do with people, the voyaging, is something like that. I'm not interested in telling people how to behave or what to do, but it's nourishing for me to 
guide people to see for themselves and to make sense of their own daily experience to make sense of what troubles them and how to find this space that you so clearly, you know, are sitting in. And so there's nothing to do with you and me. You know, we, we got there immediately. That's the destination. This is the destination. And what is in the way can be examined and seen through. <laughs> I'm so happy to meet you. How, mm. how, how do you say your name? Ryan, Reinhold? Ro Ro Reinhold, yeah. Reinhold. Thank you, Reinhold. Thank you for this invitation. <laughs> what an interview. <laughs> 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 the first time this happens. <laughs> so, seems we are sitting at the destination. <laughs> yes. Yes. And I, I recognize it because there's a sort of an electrical tingling in my body and in the air and no, I, I recognize it as simplicity. no movement of anything being missing, anything being wrong, anything being incomplete, just, just this movement does not happen. Beautiful. So this is it. And even the birds are joining in. Yes. 
So this is an attempt to record this destination, state or place, uh, uh, make, make it available and yeah. let, it exp let it explode, uh, so to say. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dive in. It is this some kind of emotionlessness that wants to be expressed here now in words. Tell me. It's just motionlessness. No movement at all. I feel a kind of pulsing. So it's like a bioelectrical pulsing. It's no movement. This relax relaxation into this stillness or so. Uh, this. That's how it is appearing here at this moment. So the destiny is per the perceptions at destiny are different. Yes. Well, the, the yeah the. The languaging of it. Hmm. Okay, so I just push the recording button again. <laughs> so let's continue at destiny here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What a message, right? Destiny is here now. You're checking it out? Uh, what do you mean by that? 
I mean, we cannot expect it just to resume. I assume it works. No, I mean destiny. Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What to say? I mean, what to say? No, I mean, just... Just... In my own experience, occasionally, my digestive system has an effect on my perception. And so, I cannot assume that you're still in connection. I'm I don't know. For you to, looking for you to confirm. I um, I do not have the feeling that I can ever get disconnected, huh? so <laughs> to say. <laughs> Fantastic. 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 Uh, the only thing is that uh, there can be irritations, uh, so so to say. Uh. Yeah. When and this is related, supposedly, uh, to yeah, fears or, or old memories that that become activated or patterns or conditionings or I don't know uh, and. So they can create some noise, but uh, so this is what happens occasionally. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like lunch, it's life. Yes. Yeah. That's the human condition. <clears throat> exactly. Exactly. Nothing wrong with it. Absolutely nothing. In fact, there's a lot right with it. Yeah, survival programs, huh? Well, even enjoyable facets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so to say, entertaining. Huh? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that, is, that is my favorite, one of my favorite ones. Huh? Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's my source of fascination. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah one can say it's all entertainment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, one of my facets is throwing up a reference and the reference is is this more entertaining than watching John Lennon sleep? Did, did you, <laughs> no. <laughs> did you ever see that? No. He made a film of him sleeping. Uh-huh, okay. <laughs> 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 what an idea. <laughs> yeah, but this is it again, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Utter simplicity. Just hanging out here. Do you have something one would call an ordinary work work life?
In a way, there seems to be no separation to what's work and what isn't. Hmm. Because we're, you know, this is it. Mm -hmm. This is my work. Mm -hmm. And if I'm not with somebody, generally I'm fascinated by what's in focus. Mm. Mm. But, but, but I have, yeah, I, I mean, I do have a kind of, I have a sense of segments because now I'm meeting with people all over the world. I have a sense of segments of time, you know, when I can get Australia and South America and <laughs> so in that way I have a kind of awareness of time and what I can do in it. Mm -hmm. So you fundamentally make your living on these Skype sessions? Yes, yes. Yes, uh, my main source of income. Mm -hmm. And a few people who still show up, you know, near enough to show up in person. Both individuals and couples and Occasionally, I might go somewhere to do a satsang if I'm invited. And I'm more and more, yeah, it's something I enjoy to do again. I stopped doing it for a, a few years, but now it feels right again to do that. So, when did your so-called awakening show up, uh, or happen, or start happening? I mean, one never knows so exactly, yeah. I believe. Uh. Yeah, it was a long time ago. It was in 1969. Mm -hmm. And there was no reason, no context, no, I have no idea why, mm. and my perspective or my perception changed from that moment, but I had no idea what it meant. I could see what had happened and I could see what I now saw and the perspective that I had from that moment. But over the years when I met or read various masters and disciplines, it looked like that was something totally different because I was still capable of acting in self-interest. I still had a personality. I still wanted things and liked things and had preferences. And all of the things that seemed to be ruled out as part of the experience of being or living in realized space, as I now call it. And so it was probably 20 years or so before I was willing to say to myself there couldn't be any other possible explanation. Mm. 
and my scrutiny was pretty rigorous. Mm-hmm. And so there was no teaching, no path that I followed to to explain it to me. The explanation has been purely my own as to what is this? And that fascination continues and part of the fascination is languaging and seeing how extraordinary that nobody really filled in the language in the way that I've been doing it all seems in one way it seems so unbelievably simple and obvious to me (laughs) but everybody says well Oh, it's beyond words, you can't describe it. And I say, well, I can describe it. (laughs) (laughs) If it's valuable to you, then I can describe it. No need, really. We're just sitting here humming. Mm -hmm. Because nothing you need from me. I mean, you may need something for the interview. (laughs) (laughs) I do not even need the interview, you know. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. But yet it happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But but I but I have to I have to acknowledge that if I weren't sitting with you now, and if I hadn't been sitting with you as I have today, the quality of my experience would be different. Sure, probably. Yeah, sure. So, so in that way, I would dare to say I actually need this because this is more delicious than me just doing what I do with the laptop or this annoying little tablet that I just bought. (laughs) 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 So I'm I'm daring to say I, I actually need this connection with you. Daring means what? Daring, to dare. What does it mean? Oh. Uh, let me look it up uh, in the dictionary. My English sometimes has a couple yeah. of gaps, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, got the idea. (laughs) I really like this. Mm. I love this connection. It's sensational. <laughs> yeah. What else? What else can it be? Huh? <laughs> 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 
<lacht> It's joyful, ne? So there was this awakening event and uh, followed by 20 years of what? <laughs> I would say You could say inquiry, you could say fascination, and it was leading, being led by, what is this? It's being aware of what was happening in my experience from a kind of floating perspective. It was like I could see from any point in the 360 degree sphere of life and the human condition. I would see from any any point and notice what was happening. Hmm. And somewhere I was building a kind of explanation. Hmm. And yeah, you know, I was l I was led through going back to college and doing a psychology degree to examine my experience and traveling the world, living in various communities and. continuing to examine my own experience against what others said their experience of being in realized space was. N nobody confirmed my, ex my direct experience. I had to do that for myself. It's only me seeing now it's enough. This cannot be anything other than and even that, you know, what to call it. Hmm. And my languaging now is realized space. So you were looking for a confirmation of your experience. What was your experience? Well, the perspective, 
was changed radically from what appeared to be tunnel vision to 360 degree visibility. And I saw and languaged what appeared in my domain of consciousness or awareness and I saw there was a a constant movement of different facets of my personality. And it was okay. I mean, to begin with, I tried hard to get rid of them. Because that appeared to be several people's explanation. But at some stage, I found myself accepting absolutely everything that I was. And that was taking place in my bioelectrical cell of life and saw that nothing was wrong. Hmm. My conditioning was pretty fucked up. Hmm. A lot of my facets of personality were dysfunctional mm. and it's okay so let's go back to that point when you say the tunnel vision was replaced by by uh, 360 degrees yeah uh, did this come in in some kind of a vision, or, or <laughs> what, what what happened there? No, I think that the, the vision, the the sort of the stuff that was thrown up by the experience, you might call a vision. You no. Know, mm -hmm. And part of my examination. I saw that what happened is that the images that already existed in my spiritual or religious or whatever you call it folder, it was full of images and conditioning and when the life force landed, it open that folder and those images you know appeared to me mm -hmm. and, and it, they were all known it, it wasn't anything unknown it was all you know Blake like images of bearded men in chariots and angels and and I saw oh yeah that in a way it was it was a a further confirmation that oh god this must be like you know when you hear stories of you know young girls being visited by the Virgin Mary mm -hmm. you know, it's exactly the same experience you know that imagery is already there and whatever is it whatever it is that happens throws up that information mm -hmm. And some people believe it, mm. but it wasn't that I believed it. I saw it, and I didn't know what it meant. I saw it, you know, and there were all sorts of possible explanations that were 
occurring in my body-mind system, wanting to make it something. Mm -hmm. But my perspective wouldn't let any of them take hold. Mm -hmm. I could I could see the beliefs coming up that you know, oh, this means this, and but it was all taking place within my perception. No, it is. Uh, sounds to me like. Uh, one belief try to replace the other, so beliefs trying to replace the other, better belief, better belief, better belief, but it was seen through this mechanism, yeah? Absolutely, so, absolutely. So, and, and believing itself, believing itself is, so to say, uh, at stake. Yeah? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, mm. yeah. The function of belief has been hijacked mm -hmm. by so many generations as a means of controlling and social engineering. And yeah, all, all of this was part of the perception and at times the the power of those beliefs, you know, it was it was like a combat. Mm. And I, you know, it was again. It was kind of like an experiment. Like I would, I would take on the belief to see the result. But I didn't, they didn't take me over. Mm. And now I talk about it in a very straightforward and understandable manner, but at the time I wasn't talking about it like this or examining examining it like this it was much more you know what the fuck kind of experience hmm. but now it's the same hmm There are many, or still there is energy in these beliefs. The vision is not clear, not a hundred percent. It is for you. No, when the beliefs are there, ah. I, I I don't know. Uh, as long as they have energy and are believed, yeah, the the vision is not clear. This believing well, it, mechanism, yeah, it, it is not... It depends. It depends where... If, if, if the belief gets into the director's chair, mm -hmm. then the vision isn't clear. Exactly. That's yeah. what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's, it's seeing... There's nothing wrong with that. You know, when you see how the how the what I call the personality, you know, I had to language it. I would say the personality is is the the structure, mm -hmm. and there are many individual facets to the personality, and mm -hmm. so it's not actually the belief or the emotion. You know, if our focus is on belief or on, on emotion, it's not quite right. It's 
that little individual behavioral cell that has that belief that gets into the director's chair and once it's there vision is obscured by hmm. that set of beliefs and experiences but there's not I mean there's nothing wrong with that you know exactly I, I need I need to select a facet of my personality to do anything so exactly yep exactly yeah that drives movement yeah? exactly exactly you know some information in you know this folder is required for it to operate hmm but how you know how to language the seer, I, I, I use the idea of the seer, the seer in me sees that this is happening and okays that selection and it runs until it's no longer useful. Then the folder is closed and another one is opened. Yeah, yeah. And there's no controller. Yeah. Except life, if you call it that. Yeah, yeah. No, it's. Let's call it that. Life force. In some domains, it appears that choice is possible. Afterwards, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they're looking at it in another way. Something is choosing. Something is choosing which facet of your personality is being you right now. Something is choosing. I don't even know that. Is, I think the concept of. Uh, choosing or cause and effect is they are assumptions uh, beliefs uh, yeah I, ju I just don't know yeah from this from where we are absolutely but uh, you know let's just shut the fuck up <laughs> <laughs> where we are is so close to not knowing her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. One could almost say uh, we make a belief out of not knowing, maybe. <laughs> it's, oh, absolutely. It's, it's, it's that crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, I would say that there are several facets of my personality that behave as if they are enlightened. <laughs> <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> That's a good one. can one say? <laughs> Cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> so
So everything is okay. Yeah, absolutely everything. Even the bits you don't believe are okay. And even the belief to believe it's not okay is okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nothing wrong. What a resting place. Yeah, what a gift. Mm. In my case, completely unearned. Another belief. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was one that I was stuck in a long time. Huh? So there were times when there were a lot of blissful explosions. Uh, I could not even control myself in this bliss. Huh? And it was unbearable. Huh? And then I took a couple of days to look into this. Huh? And in the end, it was seen there was a belief you have not deserved that, <laughs> which which was driving the bliss. Yeah, yeah. And when this belief was seen, then it became calm. So exactly. it's beyond of earning and deserving, yeah? not holding anything. Yeah. yeah, the destination is that. <laughs> so was it something like an experience for you? Ah, uh, yeah, that is that is a tricky one. Yeah? As long as beliefs are there, then I mean, I said you have not deserved it. Yeah, so. That was the language that I used. Yeah. And that was, a, a today, word it as, a, as some stuck energy, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, actually, it was not an experience of me, me as what? It was an appearance in me, so to say. I, if right. I have to use language, but I don't feel yeah. comfortable. Yeah? No, I agree. <laughs> I agree. But, yeah, yeah, that... That approximates my experience. There is no such thing as my. Yeah. I used to phrase it, um, a movie is playing. Yeah. But yeah. the seer, yeah, the, the, there is no seer, yeah. so to say. Yeah. yeah. But the movie is all there is. Yeah. yeah. But the movie is seen. It is seen, yeah, but yeah. I know, but I cannot. Yeah. There, there is no one, no point who sees it. So it is happening. So, uh, yeah. Experience after experience after experience after experience after experience. That's all there is. This, this. Body sensations, emotions, subtle sensations. Absolutely. Even so subtle that there are no words for them. Absolutely. It is it is gourmet sensation. Yeah. The difference between the south slope and the southwest slope. 
in in the red wine. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It's all on the level of sensations in the end, yeah? so absolutely. Believing it to be real, reality outside, and it's uh, already deceit. Yeah? If sensations filtered through, or I don't know, created by yeah. the body, mind, or whatever. Uh, whatever it is, I do not yeah. even know that. But I would say it's, it's real. It's sure. A, it's, a, it's a source of my... It's all I have. Pleasure, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So how can it be wrong? I have a thousand stored reasons why it could be wrong. <laughs> yeah. All st <laughs> stored stuff. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and there are some great names in those. <laughs> <laughs> Sigmund Freud. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> God. <laughs> Judge, judging God, uh, whatever. <laughs> the, the Rogues Gallery. <laughs> but that's all that is. Why call it wrong? Why start with calling it wrong? Yeah. No need. But something extraordinary is required to bring that about. Yeah, we, we can sit here and say no need because there's no need in this space but when I sit with people and see the power mm. that they have to contend with I mean that that often is shocking to me uh, for me for me it seems to come down to to fear in the end of the day yeah, there is an experience made early in life or even maybe before birth yeah, that is unsustainable yeah. it probably it is related to the, the trauma of being born or something like that. So there is a fundamental experience that this should not happen again. Uh, <laughs> I'm at risk here. Yeah? So I have to do everything that this does not happen anymore. Yeah? And this has a very strong dynamics and then collects problems around itself. Yeah? So all, a lot of the intelligence goes into looking for dangers, for risk situations, and developing scenarios to avoid them. Yeah? And this creates conditioning, yeah? and you can get lost in that jungle, yeah? easily. Yeah? Easily. Yeah. yeah, it's true. And it's well, not just thoughts, it's even in the body, yeah? Oh, yeah. of course. It's every system in the body-mind system. Yeah. And my creature was designed to be just like that. Exactly. It's the survival program. Yeah. In several different brains that are tucked away inside. And then <laughs> a nice analogy comes up here. There is also a gourmet of fear, yeah. So this this scaling, yeah, and uh, in the end, often in day-to-day -day experience, it is so subtle that it is not even recognized as fear. Yeah? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. 
And then the confusion is full on. Yeah. 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 And but in in one way, I would say and see that the fear is being used. The appearance of fear is is being used by a facet of your personality. And in itself, the fear isn't anything other than just a frequency. Sure. But, but the facet of personality that is amplifying that is where the misinformation is. It's, I don't know the English word now. Uh, it's some kind of uh, deformation. Uh, contortion? contortion? Yes. yes. That's good. It's a good word. Contortion. Because it is a big con. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and then, yeah, the, it protects itself yeah, because it generates negative feelings, and then there is a tendency in personality to avoid them. Yeah. yeah. And bang, it is the structure is in place. Yeah. Absolutely. And. It is an apparent structure, but believed to be true. Uh, and the only way to to show or to prove or to check out that it is an apparent structure is to go through the pain. Just yeah. say, okay, now let's check out the pain. Absolutely, to process to process the pain, not let not let the script run. If you let the script run. Nothing changes, but if yes. you absolutely process the feelings, yes, absolutely. then it is yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah, you have to find out: can it kill you? Because mm -hmm. it signals if you let this happen, it will kill you. Mm -hmm. That is where it really gets juicy, yeah? Okay. Don't want to see that. <laughs> but now let's go in. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can find something beautiful. Yeah? <laughs> it was all made up. And when this experience is, is made, that intense pain, or yeah, pain of fear, is made up once, maybe, maybe twice or three times, suddenly, oh, what if it all is made up? Huh? And then this shift from the tunnel view to the 360 may slowly slowly or even in an explosion yeah seems there are many many ways yeah And it is also a process, so to say, that cannot be taught. Uh, so the so this this experience or analysis of the nature of fear 
has to be done by everybody himself. It cannot be taken away. Exactly. Exactly. No way. It can only yeah. perhaps be supported. Yeah? So someone who walk that path yeah. yeah yeah there's a possibility of an energetic guidance or support yeah but that's only to add weight to your direct experience and seeing yeah nothing else is valuable no shortcut. Uh, None. There is no shortcut here. No. No teaching, no formula. Just direct experience. And the compass into the experience is resistance against it. <laughs> Paradoxically enough. <laughs> yeah. This is unbelievable. But that's the way it is. Beautiful. Yeah. Where are the areas? It feels uncomfortable. Where are the areas I don't want to go? Yeah. There is the places where something can be discovered. <laughs> yeah. And a beautiful, simple discovery is pain hurts. And it's okay. Mm -hmm. So, what do you say to people who suggest, yeah, there is a shortcut, just by finding out who I am? I say, who am I is the wrong question. So, what is the right question? <laughs> <laughs> if there is any. Yeah, I don't have an immediate replacement. But I... If you're asking the question, who am I? That's already leading you to discover a singular identity and so a simple re replacement could just be what is this and the seer appears to have a kind of attitude that is asking that question Hmm. Hmm. Otherwise it would not be a seer. <laughs> exactly. The seer participates in life in the subtlest of gourmet frequencies. <laughs> But the seer is a participant, not an observer. Mm -hmm. So this who am I question, if I understand 
correctly served to come to this I cannot phrase it otherwise to, to this seer place uh, the observer is in the movie already Great. The, the seer already the seer sees even this uh, yes and the seer itself, himself, herself is then the final point which cannot be seen it's which cannot be seen anymore uh, otherwise it would be phenomenal yeah. in the movie uh, yeah, yeah the seer is the flexible point on the membrane of the cell, the bioelectrical cell that contains this life form the seer is the point of engagement of life force and the human condition Now, I'm, I'm, I studied physics, huh? and the quantum physics guys, they talk about uh, energies, and they talk about waves, hmm. And the way I used to try to, to express it is there is just energies or waves playing around and crystallizing into, into this. So what can be perceived is is already a crystallization. Absolutely. And contained within the domain of perception. Yeah. And that domain of perception for me is a bioelectrical cell, just like the structure of the microcosm and macrocosm of form. Mm hmm. So in these bioelectrical cells, then a little bit like mirrors. Uh, so this oneness explodes into infinity. <laughs> but these are now. Uh, I don't know, this is the first time that I say this. I don't know, triggered by what. Yeah. 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 Well, by what you're sensing right now. But for practical life. Yeah. It's just good to, to rest in this. Absolutely. Then an ordinary life is lived. Yeah. It's a little bit unpersonal, maybe. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't have to be. You know. It doesn't have to be, no. No. No, no you you know, you can you can look back up the stream of life force and that's all you see or you can include everything that's there 
Yeah, this is included, yeah, but the belief in Santa Claus uh, is not there anymore. Yeah? So there is no way back, no hope in hell. Yeah? No, exactly. <laughs> no. We are fucked. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I've been stuck here since 1969. Give me, <laughs> give me some unconsciousness. <laughs> <laughs> no hope. <laughs> <laughs> but also no need, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. And it is not better to be here than in any other place. So to say. Yeah? No, it's true. This is a gift. Yeah, part of my experiment was to see if I could get unconscious. <laughs> I would not know how to even try it. <laughs> I mean, I think something called one of the experiments was called tequila. Oh. <laughs> no good. It's just temporary prevents you from enjoying <laughs> uh, when I was young I sometimes used this stuff to get rid of the confusion <laughs> Too much confusion, too much noise. Uh, yeah, oh yeah. Just to turn the volume off at times. Uh, <laughs> that's another way of using it. <laughs> exactly. But doesn't work either. Uh. No. But in, you know. Yes. Valuable experiment. Yes, exactly. Just to find out uh, it doesn't yeah. work that way. Uh. Yeah. So these particles of infinity meet in this space. Huh? That's what happens here. Yeah, yeah. And others may join the party. But there is no tequila. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely not needed. Nothing needed. Yeah. And how... To some extent, it's still an unknown as to who will fall in. Absolutely. And I'm really grateful to you for this opportunity to open up the pool. Mm -hmm. I'm still delighted to experience this with you. Mm. So anybody who might who want to join cordially invited. <laughs> yeah. Jump right in. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it is uh, it is a question of jumping in the end of the day. Uh, it is, we are talking here about an all-in exercise, uh, not a little bit. Uh, Absolutely. Anything you want to say? <laughs> It's like we've we've done it. Mm. We've done it. Yeah. This time we've done it. Yeah. And delicious. Hmm. It was a pleasure. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs>
Okay, Ian. Thank you very much. Reinhardt, thank you. And so let's see how it will unfold. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm fascinated. Yes, I'm fascinated. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 Cheers. Thank you.